Hey guys, this is Malanda. Welcome to another Mal Impression, where I play two hours of a game and tell you my valuable opinion that no one cares about. Today, we're looking at one of my most anticipated video games of 2021. Life is Strange, True Colors. Have you too, like most of the game I play on my channel, I'm in it for the game. The gayer it is, the better it is in my book. And Life is Strange True Color is definitely the kind that's permanently stuck on multiple pages in that book of mine. Apart from video games, another nerdy thing I love is D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons. I mostly play Pathfinder, but whatever, same thing. We have been promised that Steph from Before the Storm will be in this game, so I'm expecting a lot of Yuri, dice rolling, and TBKs. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg, severing both feet at the ankles. They don't have to happen at the same time, but it would be best if it would. <laughs> Yuri and D&D, &D, I mean. So fair warning, right off the bat, Life is Strange True Colors is a 10 out of 10 for me. With that said, this video will have a high possibility of being extremely biased, so uh, take it with a sack of salt. <sighs> Starting off, I'm absolutely thrilled to have an Asian female protagonist. Not just any Asian, but the Chinese Asian, and no Kung Fu is involved. <laughs> it feels pretty good to be represented, and in my playthrough, I'm going to make her extra gay extra represented. Kudos to Deck 9. I managed to avoid all trailers and spoilers so I can dive into this game as blind Perfect. as a lesbian bat, just the way I like it. What I know is that this game is about a girl She's who's extra sensitive that. to people's feelings and extreme empath and um yeah Alex, Steph. Right? I'm Steph. We first get to see Alex and her counselor. We have so no idea what's Alex. up with her or her story so I assume that's here. for us to gradually discover later on. Hands Seems like she's leaving somewhere to reunite with oh, her long-lost brother, ribs, Gabe. When we meet him, we find out that we have mind-reading powers. Cool. She's all grown up. And I missed it. That's one of the most useful superpowers in my opinion. Just imagine negotiating your salary with this. If I don't get in. And this is why I don't Shit. deserve any superpowers. What if I do get in? In just two oh, hours, Lord. so hey, many characters were introduced. And it seems like they're here to stay. So uh, get ready for the list. We have Eleanor, we are so Riley, Goat, Ethan, Zundere Couple, Dear One, Ethan's Charlotte, not up there anymore. Ryan, Dear God. Jed, Ducky, you, you can't keep up? No problem. Then we have Mac, High Diane, with fries. Pike, Eight. Valkyrie, and Steph. Do you Ooh, know that's a lot. Is? Oh dear. Gabe seemed to be no, a wonderful no, no, brother no, no, so no. far and uh, no, no, seems I'm very caring that. as well. I'm like Dad plus. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to doing more fun things with him. Maybe uh, more other. air guitar and dancing. Stuff, you know. hmm. the Ryan seems to be a nice stars. guy and my bet is that and he's the other uh, romance option in this game. I mean, me the best beers? he's your brother's best friend. So of course he's going <laughs> to be on a list of viable suitors. By the way... If Riley's needs computer a computer help, nerd, which yep, is really cool. And trying to save up. What if Ethan is the token kid we need in every single game. And we have a cat to make it extra gay. Guess now we wrong. have Steph. Steph is no doubt the biggest reason why I'm playing this. I mean, look at that adorable Ryan lesbian smirk. Oh, I can't resist that. Want to take place? We first seen her in Life is Strange Before the Storm, uh, and uh, she was already wow. one of my favorite characters that there. Was... The whole role-playing D&D section in that game minotaur. was amazing. Oh Swans my god, I loved it. A sexy GM is exactly what I need. We meet her for the first time when Alex checks out the record store. Not much interaction oh, except picking uh, out a song for her. Later on, we get one? to play the jukebox game, which I totally got owned. I really like oh, that Steph God. looks a bit older in True Sorry. Colors. I actually think that she is older in this game, but I'm not sure by how much. I'm really looking forward to see how the relationship hey, flourishes between Alex and Steph. I mean, that's definitely really happening. The graphics seems to be an upgrade from wow. Before the Storm. Good to the pamphlets know. and items have the same feel to them, but seems a Abe bit, you know, too? clearer. I remember Amanda's mentioning before that Before the Storm's graphic wasn't as good as the first Life is Strange. Or... But Has True Color seems to have fixed life? that. The scenery is good, characters oh, look good, before. the statues, the posters. Questions Steph is looking have, amazingly yes. hot. Just like with Before the so Storm, I think Deck Alex. 9 does eye movement really here. well. It might also be because I'm biased and no I'm problem. just paying more attention to it. <laughs> and I do think we usually notice how weird eyes are when things are not done right. Like, um, <clears throat> Andromeda. Like always, I love poking He's my nose really into everything, nice. reading every little thing, looking at trash, yeah, totally. eavesdropping on every but conversation. 
I think it adds to the story and helps a bit with the world building. I love it. The mini arcade games are a bit random but kind of fun. They remind me of the mini games in my recent gameplay of It Takes Two. A good time sink, a great blast from the past, but that's about it. And this moment is definitely one of my favorites. This streamer mode is very interesting. It cuts out all the music, causing very awkward moments when Alex is bonding with Gabe and also when Alex is singing to herself. They could have maybe add some filler music in the background so it wouldn't be so darn weird. You know, just a thought. Oh, and I totally wasn't expecting this is the color change on my keyboard and mouse when I play. But this scene with Mac, when he was angry with Alex, he feels angered. The keyboard turns red. When she cools down, it turns back to blue. It's okay. Overall, I'm really enjoying this game. The atmosphere is good and things look pretty. We still don't have much of a story going on yet, except the I mystery behind Alex's you. personal story. With I'm looking forward to seeing where the game takes me. God. Hopefully in Steph's next, bed. But apart from that, I'm really looking forward to seeing from... what kind of cool things Alex can do Some with her powers. Shit. It seems like she can read no, people's no, mind according no, no, to their feelings. No, 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 she also here. seems to be easily affected by other people's emotions as well. Like if someone gets angry, she feels it too. I wonder if she can manipulate people's feelings. Hmm, that would be too evil, wouldn't it? Get in. But imagine no, if you could no just turn Alex into a supervillain. That would be an interesting Come option. I highly doubt they let idea? us. But like I said, I'm in it for the gay, and little gay me is really I'm enjoying Steph. it. If you're like right? me, then you'll definitely have a good time. Just I mean, we do have a pro tag that's all about tapping into her emotions and understanding other people's feelings. I don't think it yeah. can get any gayer than that. If you don't have the game but really want to know how it goes, check out my playthrough of Life is Strange True Colors. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.